Hey everyone, Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink here, and I'm really excited to welcome you to Stamp Affair 2013. The festivities officially kick off tomorrow, but um, we just wanted to take a moment tonight and just welcome you all to what you're going to get to experience tomorrow. Um, the team has been working around the clock for months, uh, getting everything ready, all the tutorials, all the projects, all the videos, uh, and I know that you're just going to find so much inspiration from what all these talented ladies have to share with you. Um, while I'm here, I thought I would take a moment to show you around my crafting kitchen. I am in the middle of revamping the room right now, but I just thought I would show you around a bit and show you exactly where I work. Here's a little look at my stamping space. This table right here is where I spend the majority of my time when I'm working. And the tabletop is something that David actually made for me, which I absolutely love, and it's become really beat up already over the years. This is my little die cutting area, and these boxes have uh, CD envelopes where I have all my dies stored alphabetically. And here is my die cutting machine, my va beloved Vagabond. Uh, this basket right here always has the new release in it. Right now I still have August stuff in it, uh, but I put all the new release stamps and anything, any old sets that I think might coordinate with something that we're releasing. Um, I usually put impression plates or cover plate dies in there so I don't forget about them and just keep everything right at hand so I know what I want to try to work into my projects any particular month. Uh, over here that's all of my basic tools that I use really often. Um, I keep them right there close at hand. All of my zing, twine, embossing powder. I have a whiteboard calendar I keep right over my space and that uh, helps me keep track of what's due when, when the release starts so I can try to stay on schedule. Um, over here, I keep all of my blocks in these little shelves. These are Martha Stewart um, office uh, sh shelves that I purchased that I really love because I can rearrange as necessary. Um, up here, I've got um, all kinds of different pins and brads that I tend to use in my projects sometimes. Um, and my smaller blocks and I actually keep hair elastics in here because I never seem to have one when I'm ready to pull my hair back and I'm getting serious about my stamping. Um, interestingly enough this little cork with the flag in it is from when we had mimosas and I had a royal wedding party over here and I actually keep um, my needles in there for sewing. Over here I have a Copic marker chart that Debbie Olson actually made for me a long time ago. Um, some other favorite tools and this is the ink and marker stores that David built for me a few years ago. I've outgrown it and have extra colors in one of my drawers here but most everything is in in this little caddy. Um, right here I usually keep my paper trimmer to my right along with my heat gun uh, that's always plugged in and ready to go. And this little slot in the tabletop is actually um, for garbage. It goes right into the garbage can there under the desk. And I've got my inspiration Rolodex here, along with some other little things in a basket. Oh, before I forget, my kids would probably be very upset with me if I forgot to show you this little detail down here under my desk. This is a special foot warmer and massager that my mother-in-law actually bought me for Christmas a few years ago. My kids get a kick out of it, but when I'm stamping, this is where my feet are. It's in there because my feet tend to be cold. Um, so this is the general um, stamping area right here. That's where, that's where most everything takes place. Um, over here is my stamp collection. Uh, David actually just built this shelf for me a few months ago. I'm still trying to get everything organized on it. There's sections uh, for each type of stamps. I've got a section for backgrounds, section for sentiments, and um, I'm a 
in the process of switching over my sets that are in the regular CD cases over to DVD cases. So eventually they'll all be the same size and a little bit easier to file away. Um, I keep a lot of my projects out, especially ones that are my favorites. Um, I've got some old springs here and merchandise sign stands and other things that I like to just lay things in, have the cards out to look at. It's always nice to surround yourself with pretty things. Helps you feel inspired to create more pretty things. Up here I have a few more cards on display and this is the TV that I have in my office with large stacks of movies underneath. I watch movies a lot during release week and I have about 10 or 12 favorites uh, that I watch every single release. Um, Pride and Prejudice, uh, Catch and Release, 27 Dresses, The Backup Plan, a lot of romantic comedies and a lot of uh, historical films are my favorites. Um, I'm in here for about 12 to 14 hours a day during release week so movies kind of help the time pass a little bit more quickly and um, just provide a little bit of background noise so I don't get too lonely in here. Um, let me back up a little bit and right here is my uh, second stamping table and this is actually a table um, just a little table from Ikea but this I usually um, have cardstock on and laid out um, during release week. Sometimes I stamp over here if I need a little bit more space for technique. When I have friends over, we sit at this table. So I get a lot of use out of it. In this corner here is a little rocking chair that I sit in. Um, this is the, actually the rocking chair out of Ethan's nursery from when he was a baby. Um, so it brings back really happy memories and I sit here sometimes when I'm sketching or um, browsing on my laptop on Pinterest for uh, card ideas and that sort of thing. Uh, behind this, I just wanted to show you real quick, I've got this little hook. Um, and right here, this is a very special piece that Melissa Phillips actually made me as a studio warming gift when I first moved in. I just love that. It's so pretty. And a little sign that inspires me. Um, over here, this is another shelving unit from Ikea. And this has all of my paper on it. Um, the drawers have a lot of bags and boxes. And that kind of thing. I've got my buttons and jars over there. Um, I store pattern paper over here. And this little rolling cart has all my basic cardstock needs in it and I keep this over here um, when it's not release week but during release week I roll this over closer to my workspace so that's where all of the paper is and over here I have an old letterpress tray that I've got some old um, stamps on that I've collected from antique stores and such down here uh, this is what I call the graphic design area of the studio. Uh, my computer is here and Wacom tablet for drawing. Um, I've got lists taped up everywhere and uh, this is where I edit all my photos and um, spend a lot of time in that seat getting everything ready for you guys. Uh, over here I have a little bit of artwork for my kids and I've got a sink over here and that is where I like to wash my stamps if they get especially messy, clean paint brushes, that type of thing. Um, oh, right here, here's Aspen. Aspen's taking a nap. She is um, my little stamping buddy. She likes to hang out in my office so she has her own little bed in here. And uh, she, she just loves to hang out with me. She follows me everywhere I go. And right here is an old wooden crate. And I put all my projects in here every month. And when it gets full, I have to empty it and kind of try to organize everything a bit better. Now, as we swing around here, uh, this is actually a new piece of storage that David built for me. 
and he um, cut in between the studs and the wall behind the door and did built-in ribbon storage right into the wall. It's kind of hard to get it all uh, in one shot here because it's so tall, but it goes pretty much to the top of the door to almost about a couple feet shy of the floor. But um, my other ribbon rack, I've outgrown that, so this is what I use now for all my ribbon. It's nice that it's tucked into the wall right behind the door and doesn't take up any floor space. I hope you enjoyed your tour around my studio. And I just wanted to sign off by wishing you happy Stamp Affair Day tomorrow. And we're just all so thrilled that you're here. Hey there, paper training stampin' friends. I'm Ashley Cannon Newell from Northern Virginia, and I'm here to welcome you to tomorrow's Stampin' Affair event right here in my very own studio, where all of the creativity, tutorials, and card designing pretty much start. Um, I just wanted to share one thing with you that's one of my favorite things in my studio, and that's how I organize my dies. I've shared this on my own YouTube channel, but I just wanted to also share it with all of the Stamp Affair attendees and that's how I store my dies, and that's in here in this library tray. And I just love it because it sits right here on my tabletop. I have easy access to all my paper train dies. Um, they're right here on these little magnetic little strips that are, and little pages that I've created, front and back. And I can just easily flip through them on either side and have them right at my fingertips whenever I create a project. And it's just one of my favorite things in my studio that I just had to share with you. The design team has cooked up so many great tutorials and projects for you this year and you're going to be so busy tomorrow. You're just going to have flour all over your face and you're just going to be baking up so many great new projects and have so many new ideas for not just for tomorrow but for months to come. So I hope you have a great time tomorrow and welcome to Paper Tray Ink Stamp Affair event. Everybody, this is Erin. Welcome back to Stamp Affair 2013. It kicks off tomorrow morning, so I hope you're getting lots of rest, lots of goodies already planned for you. So uh, get to sleep early, wake up early. There's lots of fun to be had. I thought I'd take this time to show you around my office a little bit. Um, this is where I do all my stamping at this big table. It's I think it's a uh, kitchen island from IKEA. And I like to keep everything really close at hand. These are all my dies, which are right here. Here's my die cut machine. So you see, I don't have to go very far. And then of course, a real necessity, my iPad set up, so Netflix, Amazon Prime. I always have something fun playing while I'm working. Literally, right here. Um, got all my acrylic blocks right here, so I can just reach and get one of those. Here's all my adhesive. So really, I don't have to move very far. This is a lot of fun right here. Protein bars, so I don't even have to go downstairs if I don't have, want to. And the fun stuff is all the way down here. These are all the stamps since we went to the DVD case system, minus the holiday. I keep those separate because I don't do Christmas a lot. But this is, they're right here, they're in rough alphabetical order, so all I have to do is pop down on the ground, pick out what I need, and get back up on my table. And then the other thing that is of note, this is, you know, a bedroom in my house, which has carpet, and I put this rug down for any kind of spills or ink pad tumbles, and believe me, it's happened. So that keeps my carpet nice and safe. So that's just a really quick tour of where I do all my work. And as for tomorrow, I'm trying to think of my favorite project that's coming up. I really like the uh, Where We Help You Out, the Stampers 101, I think it's called. It was called First Aid this year. I think it's Recipe Redo this year. So I'm looking forward to uh, showing you what I've done with that. Lots of fun with that. Okay, so go to bed. Get lots of rest. We'll see you in the morning. We have so much planned. Hey everybody, I'm Betsy Veldman and welcome to Stamp Affair 2013 and welcome to my craft room. I am here putting on the final finishing touches for some things for tomorrow morning. So thanks for stopping by and I just wanted to give you a real quick tour of where I do most of my work. 
All right, let me show you around a little bit. This is my main workstation right here. It's just an eight foot laminate counter, nothing fancy. My uh, craft room is in our basement. And so I would love to have some natural light, but I don't. But this is where I work most of the time. I usually stand right there. Something about sitting and crafting just doesn't seem to work well for me, so I usually stand. So over here on the one end of the counter is my die cut machine and all of my paper tray dies are right there. I use the CD envelopes just like Nicole does and they're all arranged in alphabetical order and I have like my border dies and some of the taller ones back there. Up above there is a magnetic sheet where I can put some of my dies while I'm working with them so they don't get lost in the clutter of my work table. Because, believe it or not, it's usually not quite this clean. I did manage to clean up for you all. <laughs> Alright, so here is my Tower of Washi Tape. It's just kind of a, this is actually a old, I think it's a hat stand or maybe a wig stand or something. It's a antique piece, but works pretty well to stack my washi on it. It's getting almost full, so I'm going to have to do something different about that pretty soon. Alright, moving along, I have um, this shelving above my work table. There is a curtain rod which has clips that you would normally clip curtains on. But I have some different things clipped on. Here are some little tin buckets. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. And they hold my Copics and uh, colored pencils and that sort of thing. And I have a bucket with some adhesives and that sort of thing that I use you know, stuff that I use all the time that I like to have right there. And then, well, this is one of my favorite pieces in my work, on my workstation here. This is an old um, canister set that I kind of revamped. And I store some of my most used tools. Some pens and punches, like my circle punches and corner punches and that sort of thing. And scissors. Yes, I still have some decorative scissors in there. I use them once in a while yet. Alright, I just recently redid it again and I added these chalkboards, which I thought was kind of fun. And up here are all of my paper tray inks. I have them all labeled with little um, circles, uh, circle stickers, which I've stamped with the ink color, so I can just kind of identify them really easily. And then moving over here, I have some more clips. One holds my heat tool and a glue gun and a mini iron. And then I have a whole bunch of baker's twine on a big ring there. And then on the other end of my counter, this is the opposite end from where I have my die cut machine, is my paper trimmer. And just really quick, let me show you down here the storage. I have all of my 12x12 paper bins way over there on the right side. And this drawer holds all of my clear blocks and my stamp cleaner. A few more adhesives tossed in there too. And then my paper tray ink cardstock always has to be right here next to me when I'm working because that is like my most used supply, definitely. And this bin holds all of my paper tray scraps, which I sort by color so I can just grab those out of there. And then yeah, just some more random storage down here. Um, office supplies, adhesives. I have a tote full, or a crate full of buttons, and some extra stuff that's way down on the bottom that doesn't get used very often. Here's my paper tray felt. I think I shared a picture of that with you one other time. And so yeah, my, some more another basket full of some of my larger dies and envelopes. And my Cricut is up there. So yeah, that is pretty much how my workstation is set up and where I do most of my crafting. Well, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, when the festivities kick off. Alright, see you there! Hi everyone! Welcome to Stamp Affair. I'm really excited to be joining you this year. This is my first year on the design team doing Stamp Affair. So before the festivities start tomorrow, I thought I would show you a little bit about my crafting space. Um, I'm here in my basement, and over here is the kids' play area. 
And most nights you can find me down here while my husband's watching TV and I'm overworking on the card. Um, I have a little bit of a new setup that I just started out. And this is all my PTI stamp sets up here. So everything in CD cases and DVD cases. Um, and then I thought maybe I could show you some of my favorite things that I use or that I reach for all the time. So I have some of them pulled out here. Um, one of them is Stampamajig, which I sort of can't live without. I think you can eyeball most things, but I'm sort of a perfectionist, so I tend to use the Stampamajig a lot to line things up, especially when I'm stamping patterns. Um, these are my two favorite tape runners. This is glue tape, and this is a Tombow stamp runner, and I just use this one for multi-purpose. This one is really nice and thin and narrow, so I use it a lot to adhere like word dyes and stuff like that. And then, in the event that I get a little too much adhesive, I'm always, it seems, reaching for this gummy eraser that takes off adhesive, so that's a must-have for me. And then I have just a regular, good quality eraser um, that I use for pencil marks because I mark things out and measure them a lot to make sure they're accurate. Again, that perfectionist tendency, I guess. Um, I have my foam dots that I use all the time, and then you've probably seen these and you're probably tired of seeing me use these, but these are my enamel dots that I'm constantly um, using on cards. And then this is a sort of new discovery for me, but I love it. It's this clear masking paper. Um, right now it has the backing on, so you can't tell it's clear, but when you pull it off, it's just completely transparent, and I use that all the time when I'm masking, which is one of my favorite techniques. And I've got everything here in the drawer. I usually just keep it right here for easy access. Everything has a spot, and here's all my PTI inks all laid out. Um, so everything is tucked away and nice and neat, and I just close it up when I'm all done. So, I hope you guys have a really fun time tomorrow. I will be around, and I'm really looking forward to doing the um, Remix projects. I remember them before I was on the team, um, and seeing how everything got like redone and redesigned, and so I'm looking forward to that. And I hope, you know, you have a great day tomorrow. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Hi there, everyone, and welcome to my crafty kitchen. This is where most of my ideas and projects are cooked up. Although, I must admit, ever since I received my rollaway cart from Ikea, I haven't done much work in this space here. I love to roll this handy cart to the dining room table and cook up projects closer to my family. I can hardly wait to get Stamp Affair underway, and I'm thoroughly intrigued by the thought of learning how to create a scratch and sniff card. But what I'm looking forward to the most is the projects that you all create. But anyways, be sure to get lots of rest tonight because tomorrow is a big day. And make sure to have a blast too. Bye-bye. I'm Melissa Phillips and welcome to my crafting kitchen. I decided to invite you into my real kitchen because that is where I'm most often found while I'm creating. I tend to love to get something cooking on the stove or baking in the oven and then set about a project in my craft room. Um, I feel like creating, whether it's in the kitchen or in my craft room, they are connected and they're pieces of who I am. And I feel the most peace and happiness while I'm busy doing either one of those things. So to me they're very much connected. Um, my most favorite technique that I will teach you uh, through Stamp Affair tomorrow would be the tea staining technique and it's one that I do right here in my kitchen. Um, my little girl notices that I often have a pot of tea on the stove soaking muslin or ribbon and she'll mention that I'm cooking up ribbon again and I just think that that's probably a memory she'll have of me one of these days, one of my crazy quirks. But um, a sneak peek of what you will be creating tomorrow using the tea staining technique and I hope you'll enjoy it. Before I go I wanted to get you started off on the right foot with a quote I found about creativity that um, really means a lot to me. It's something that I struggle with and I'm, I'm sure you probably do as well. 
It's from Joseph Chilton Pierce, and he says, To live a creative life, we must first lose the fear of being wrong. And I think sometimes we get a little bit lost inside ourselves thinking that there's a right or a wrong way of doing things when it comes to creating, and that's wrong. There is no right or wrong, and I think that that's one of the most beautiful things about art. So create to your heart's content. Do it for yourself. Do it because it makes you happy, and, and you will be. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, everybody. This is Danelle Flanders here for Paper Tray Inc. I wanted to welcome you to Stamp Affair, and I hope you are excited as I am uh, for all the fun projects and techniques and getting together with friends, everything that goes along with it. And I'm glad you're here to participate with us. So I know we're supposed to be showing you um, our scrapbooking areas, and as many of you know, I just moved here to Colorado from New York, and I don't really have a scrapbook area set up yet. Um, so I was trying to think, what could I show you instead of a bunch of boxes and mess that you might be interested in seeing? So I'm just going to give you a little tour of my dining room and where I'm scrapbooking right now. So here's a little peek of our new home. Um, we have a little sitting room over this way. And if you head around the corner, here's the dining room. As you can tell, I don't really have it decorated much yet. Um, we got a new table, but I'm still looking for some chairs that I like. But anyway, um, this is where I sit and do a little bit of my crafting, a little bit of computer work. Uh, I just have a few basic supplies. My hot tamales and my Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, and I thought I would just show you a couple of new projects, never before seen projects that I used a lot of paper tray ink on. And these were in my embellishing ebook. Um, there are tons of paper training projects in my book. A little back to school layout of my daughter. And then this is just a little peek to one of my um, projects for Stamp Affair. So, anyway, I hope that you have a great day and I'm so glad you're here. And be sure to share your projects with us because we're always looking forward to seeing them. Thanks. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols and welcome to my crafting area. I'm coming to you from Minnesota. I hope you're all excited for tomorrow's stamp affair and getting ready to cook up some great creations. Normally, I'm not the one up in the kitchen cooking up a lot of the great food creations in our house, but I do a pretty good job down here in my little crafting corner. Um, we moved into this house in just April, so we're still kind of setting up shop and this is my area so far. I stole the shelf that we used to have in my girls room at our old house and using it to organize my supplies and it's working really well um, and have my work table and everything else set up but as all of you crafters know the organization and setting up a craft of a craft area can take a long time and it's ever changing depending on what you have going on. So I hope everybody's looking forward to tomorrow and I'm looking forward to seeing your faces and your projects with the pictures that you share tomorrow. I'm having a little get together at my house with some of the Minnesota paper tray girls and a few local friends and I'm looking forward to just spending the day crafting and creating and um, we're all looking forward to it and we all really need just a day away just to spend time doing something that we love. So. I can't wait to see everything that everybody creates and I hope you all have a great time. Have fun everybody, bye. Hi everyone, this is Jess Whitty welcoming you to Stamp Affair. I hope you're excited and ready for tomorrow. And I wanted to show you a little bit about my craft space. You guys have heard me say before that my dad's a carpenter. So um, I was lucky enough that he was able to build me some cabinets for my stamp supplies. If you don't have a carpenter in your life that can build you these cabinets for your stamp supplies, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, but basically we just planned it out and kind of planned everything to fit. So you can see that I have drawers that fit lots of my ribbons. Um, I have some drawers for stamps, just like this. I line them up and kind of categorize them a little bit. And I have upper cabinets for some of my extra supplies. Um, I have more of my stamp categories up here. I keep um, some of the supplies that I use daily like my ink pads up here on the counter. I really don't have that much ink anymore. I really just use the paper tray ink and a few of the other specialty inks. Um, I really like 
these. This is how I keep my cards that I have yet to send, which there are far too many of right now. I need to be sending some more cards. I'm almost ashamed to show you this drawer. Um, but these drawers are fantastic. They're from the container store and they fit my cards perfectly. The cards that still need to be sent to them all. And anyway, um, these cabinets have worked great for me. I just sit right here in my dining room and the kitchen is behind me. The living room is on this side. So I'm able to keep up with the kids and kind of craft on the fly. <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope you guys are super pumped about tomorrow. I know that I really enjoyed making my projects for you, so um, you'll see a few things from me tomorrow. So, hope you guys have a great day, that you get lots of crafty stuff made, and I'll see you again later. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Hi there, Don McVeigh here, and this is the Raspberry Sweet Studio. This is where I sit for a lot of um, a lot of my work. Thank goodness I have a laptop, so when I absolutely need to get out of this room, I can go work in another part of the house. But for the most part, this is where the magic happens when I am um, putting together my countdown projects each month. Um, one thing I thought I would tell you about that I love in this room is this um, antique library table. A lot of people, I think, get regular desks or like corner units and things like that and that's fine if that's your if that's what works for your space but I will tell you that um, we just found this at an antique store and I love it because it's so deep uh, I was able to take a cubby unit uh, off of another old desk and put it on the back side up against the wall so I can keep all my cardstock and pattern paper close at hand but I still have tons of workspace here on top of the desk, including for my big paper cutter, tools that I use all the time, and even another cubby here for all of the new release stamp sets when they come in. Everything goes right here so that everything's close at hand and um, within arm's reach. So it helps me to be a little bit more organized and it keeps me from jumping up and running all over the room the whole time I'm trying to work. So um, if you are out antiquing, you might just keep your eye out for um, one of these antique library tables. They're awesome. So that's my little tip for the day. Um, as for tomorrow, there is a particular challenge that I think that I am most excited about is the scratch and sniff challenge. And I think that's partly because the stamp set is so cute. You're going to love it. It's adorable. So I hope that you have a fabulous time, whether you're sleeping at home and participating in this event by yourself or whether you are out with a group of friends and you're crafting together. Um, don't forget you can get online either way and um, spend the day with a lot of other crafters all around the world who are doing the same thing as you. So I hope you have a fabulous time. I can't wait to see what you make and um, take care. Have a great day.